Hello, I'm Martin Dory, and you are watching Adorama TV. Today I'm going to be looking at resolution, frame rates, and fields of view on the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition camera. Adorama TV presents Capture the Action with Martin Dory. All GoPro cameras have different resolution, frame rate options, and a choice of field of view, and some of them are better for some things than others. Some are great for action, some give great detail, and some are fantastic for slow motion. Knowing which one to use when is the key to getting great action footage. We've been out on our bikes to demonstrate to you how each setting can affect your picture. Firstly, let's talk about resolution. The resolution is the amount of information that's captured on the camera's sensor. It would affect the size and the quality of your picture. The higher the resolution, the better quality the picture. The lower resolution, the lower the quality. Now, the thing about resolution is that it's only as good as the device you're going to be playing it back on. So, if you're going to be playing your videos back on a 4K high definition television, then you'll want to set the resolution on your camera for 4K because the quality will be justified. However, if your videos are going to end up on YouTube or Facebook, then you don't need to shoot at such a high resolution because all you'll do is use up memory. So you shoot an appropriate resolution. As you can see from this clip, the picture is super crisp and clear with detail in the blacks and whites and lots of good color representation in what are actually a challenging range of colors. This is fantastic quality and great if you want to speed up footage, show it on a 4K TV or even take high quality 8 megapixel stills from your footage. At the other end of the scale you can shoot at a resolution of 720 and you've got a choice of fields of view of narrow, medium and wide and even super wide and you can shoot at 25, 24, 50 or 100 frames a second. Now this stuff isn't going to be as good as the 4K quality but it's going to be perfectly acceptable for YouTube and actually is really versatile. Hi, Martin Dory here. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest competition to win some amazing prizes. Right, frames per second. Now the frames per second rate that you shoot at is really important to your footage. All standard videos either run at 25 or 24 frames a second. This is the number of pictures that the video takes each second to give you a smooth movement. Now, if you shoot at 25 frames per second and then play it back at 25 frames per second, it runs at normal speed. If you shoot at 50 frames a second and then play that video back at 25 frames a second, your video will run at half speed. This is how you get slow motion. And this is why the frames per second are so important when you're shooting on your GoPro. If you want super slow-mo, you can shoot at 100 frames per second and that will allow you to slow it down four times and still be a really lovely smooth piece of video. Even on the WVGA setting, you can shoot at 240 frames per second, which will give you super slow-mo. I use this setting, WVGA, at 240 frames per second to shoot this clip of me trying to keep up with my daughter on her bike. The resolution is standard definition, but it's super slow-mo. It's a really, really great option if you want to capture and slow down fast action. Let's talk about aspect ratio next, very briefly. The aspect ratio is the shape of your screen, okay? And on the GoPro, you can shoot in 17 by 9, which is a widescreen format, 16 by 9, which isn't quite as wide, or 4 by 3. Now, the sensor on the GoPro is shaped 4 by 3. So when you shoot in 16 by 9, it will chop the top and bottom off the frame to give you a wide frame picture. The same with 17 by 9. So let's look at the difference between 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 in these two clips. When you play them side by side, it's quite obvious. Um, the clip on the left is shot in ultra wide at 16 by 9 at 1080 resolution, while the clip on the right is shot at 960 with an aspect ratio of 4 by 3. What's interesting about the GoPro is that you could also shoot in super view. Now, they say it's the most immersive video picture available, and actually it is. The reason for this is SuperView uses the entire 4x3 sensor and it stretches the sides. So you get the full height and the full width of the sensor, but with 
extra width, so it shoots in a 16 by 9 format. It looks super wide, it's got super great quality, and it's really lovely. You can see this really clearly in this clip. See how Charlie's arms are stretched each side of her, and we're able to see a lot more headroom and a lot further down her body. You're getting a really wide angle of view. Sometimes you aren't going to be able to get close enough to your subject to be able to see everything. That's when you use your fields of view. Now, on some resolutions, you've got options. You can shoot wide, you can shoot medium, and you can shoot narrow fields of view. This is exactly the same as zooming in or zooming out on a standard camera or changing the lens. At 1080, you can also choose a range of frame rates with really good quality that's useful for a range of applications. Add to that the benefit of being able to change the field of view, and actually, it starts to be a really good option for most productions. And when you consider you add super view into that at 1080 and you can start to see how this is a setting for most things. Let's take a look at the 1080 super view again. See how there's lots of image top and bottom. It really puts you there in the action. And even with the sun looking straight down the lens or with a strong backlight, it still holds the picture quality. It really is astounding. So if in doubt, that's the one to go for. Okay, that's it for now. Next time, we'll look at taking our GoPros underwater. Thanks for joining me on Adorama TV today. Don't forget that in the Adorama Learning Center, you can pick up more tips and tricks on using all kinds of photographic equipment. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. Click on the link below. Finally, let us know what you think. Like, share, or comment on our videos. And if there's anything you want to know, just get in touch. See you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.